right, AI first engineering, commerce, part C, lesson C, the revolution that is Amazon. Um, part A was the revolution that isn't Amazon. And part B was all the nifty things going on. Okay. Sort of history of Amazon first. Actually, it was just in 1999, mere 22 years ago, that Amazon got its patent for one click ordering. Then it had Amazon Pay in 2007. The patent expired. And uh, now you can still buy now with one click, and it takes nothing. A regular guest checkout costs a lot more, but a regular checkout without one click doesn't really require much because all these other things are built in. Just a few more clicks, not just one. All right, here we have uh, their sort of, in, they're trying to make the same revolution now in bricks and mortar. Um, so it's just that uh, it's amazing how much Amazon can do. So we have the so-called Go Store, which was their first brick and mortar store, and then in uh, that was in 2018, and then um, August of the 2018, their second one uh, in uh, first in Chicago, first in San Francisco, uh, first in New York, May of 2019, and. Amazon Go stores, it just automatically finds what you buy. And of course, regular checkouts are quite painful. Uh, much more painful than regular checkouts on the e-commerce site. All right, if, you're, if you ask people whether they would like the concept of just walking out, not terribly surprising, two thirds say yes. Well, actually 61%, somewhat less than two thirds. Um, that's the ones who would rather use um, the coastal. Well, why are the main reason, of course, nobody really likes staying in line, especially socially distant. Um, paying is not so good, but actually mainly it's the time spent just screwing around, uh, weighing your vegetables and things. There's some early adopters and um, Automatic use of loyalty and other types of types of rewards, and I really don't want to talk to employees. Hmm. So here are uh, um, some sort of um, alternatives to, to go stores. Um, some Japanese uh, collaboration with a. This company, Standard Condition, Zipin, Test Stores, these are ones that automatically use cameras and things to find out what you buy. Test Store from Open Cognition, Standard Cognition, another collaboration, another Nano Store concept. Um, all sorts of partnerships and things like that. So there is some activity in this field. And here we have a projection, probably completely off the wall. Uh, by 2024, there are meant to be 10,000 such automatic stores. They're small, unmanned convenience stores, drug stores, grocery stores. And they have an 82% compound annual growth from 2019 to 2024. Good investment. Okay, here's the total volume of such stores, 150% compound annual growth, uh, rising to $21 billion uh, sales volume in 2024. Uh, that compares with this uh, 5,000 billion total, that is 0.4%. Pretty small. Okay. So, well, because it's not perfect for everybody, and uh, people worry about the technology, that will disappear. People worry about the security, that will disappear. People like what they're doing now, well, so what? 
I like to choose my payment method, I doubt it. I'm worried about privacy. Um, I like interacting with employees, well that's reasonable. I'm worried about shoplifting. Actually, I would say the main reason is I, the store's too small to hold what I want. So anyway, that wasn't the question. Um, the total initial store cost a million dollars. So 3,000 will cost some of the team a half and three billion dollars. And cash is popular, 57%. Largest uh, uh, um, form of payment is cash, debit card, credit card, gift card, smartphone, prepaid card, nothing. I'm not quite certain what nothing means. Um, and there is this interesting effect that uh, states are actually legislating that you have to support cash. And the US government is considering the same uh, type of bill. So we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, five uh, proof bans, and we have five bans in waiting, and um, that's, of course, supporting the past. And then you complain, we gotta get rid of big tech, it's too big. And of course, you can make it look as big as you, you can change how big it looks. Here is Google search, is it big or not? It's 40 billion. Digital ad, 129 billion, so it's uh, about a third. Digital um, and traditional ad, 239. Uh, that's about a sixth. And here we have the total ad, global ad, these were US, total global ad, 665 billion. That is, whatever it is, 6%, not so much. But so you can make it, you can vary its, uh, its importance depending on how you compare. At least in uh, the US, Amazon basically gobbles up $4. 38% of all money spent online. So it's a big, big user of the um, e-commerce dollar. And people, and then sort of, it's all sort of a feeds on itself, because you start searching at Amazon, because they have such a good collection. And then um, that 66% is uh, where they, um, the people who've used Amazon start their search um, on Amazon, and they said they've used it in the last two years, which must be most people. And then we have these alternatives, brand website, retail website, another marketplace, social media is not so big. And um, so Amazon has a huge impact because people start there. And then when you can check out, because um, People find Amazon very convenient, easy to pay for, and rather predictable, and has a very strong customer service. And I'm more likely to buy products from Amazon than other e-commerce site, 54%, strongly agree, 35, somewhat agree. So that's an incredible fraction, 89%. Uh, wow, agreeing with that statement. This is a sort of side comment, last thing. He says that uh, Amazon Web Services is actually financing Amazon, the seller. And uh, these are the global net sales of AWS. And we have this discussion in the cloud parts of my courses. So if you actually, like people threaten to break, break up big, big tech. So if you broke away Amazon Cloud, then you probably will find Amazon, the store, would get more extensive. Okay, that's the last side of this. This is Amazon section of the um, 